Hey everybody, Nick here, and today I'm coming to you from the Shabbat Cave with a review of these two guys right here. This is the Spyderco uh, VanQuest, well, okay, it's VanQuest and Spyderco co-branded, Envoy 13, and then the VanQuest Envoy 17. Um, These are two different messenger-style packs that I've been carrying for a while and really appreciate and wanted to give a full review in a place I could do a little bit more space. Next thing in the name of full disclosure, these guys were provided to me from the manufacturer. That was smooth, right? Um, uh, Yeah, that's right. Um, Spideco actually sent me this guy along, uh, as well as uh, VanQuest sent me this guy, as well as a couple of accessories for these. So uh, we do have to assume, as always, I told both sets of folks that I was going to talk about the good, the great, the bad, the ugly, might be a gem, might be junk. They still did send them along. Nonetheless, we have to assume these are the very best quality controlled bags ever, and I'm doing my best not to let that affect the nature or quality of my review. Next thing, let's do some size comparison. What we see here is against the Spideco Delica, this bag is markedly larger than a pocket knife. That really shouldn't shock anybody particularly. Um, and, you know, beyond that, uh, here is a, a pen that I stole from a Hampton Inn uh, for a size comparison purposes, as well as for holding electrical tape purposes, uh, which could be a helpful kind of thing. And here it is against a standard U.S. arm. What we already use feet, what's arm so different, right? Anyways, um, so uh, that, 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 that is your size comparison. Next thing, there are two different models that we're seeing right here on the table. This one here is the 15, uh, I'm sorry, the 13 model. Uh, it is meant to hold a, like a 13-inch laptop or something along those lines, but that's the size we're looking at here. And this guy is 160 bucks in the name of full uh, price disclosure. And then there is the Envoy 17 here, which is a much larger pack. Um, that is designed to hold up to a 17-inch laptop. Same basic idea, though. And fundamentally, a lot of the same, you know, similar approaches, and I'll be talking about both of these together because, in effect, they are a size pair, right? Um, but, yeah, there you go. Um, and like I said, this is a co-branded version with Spyderco, and there is now a co-branded version of the 17, although there wasn't when I initially picked this guy up. Um, and I, I think that's actually a really nice co-brand. And then there are also a couple of accessories I'm going to be talking about here today reach in there and grab these. Um, uh, one of those things that I'm going to be showing off here, and they're kind of hook and looped in here, is this guy. This is their sticky cube, small, that I'm using for uh, just random uh, sort of medical necessities and things like that. Um, there is this little guy here, which is a 2 by 7 sticky panel. Um, and by the way, the sticky cube small is 16 bucks. The sticky panel is 12 bucks here. Um, I will be showing you a ah, sticky panel 2 by 3 which is uh, 9 bucks. Plus a flashlight with 10,000 lumens. Um, nonetheless, uh, that, that, that's in there. And then finally, these are things that are very easy to put in there. But um, and there are some foam panels. They are separator panels. They look a little something like this. Ah. This is like four of them at the same time. But nonetheless, you can get a pack of these guys for 10 bucks. So these are all accessories um, that we'll be talking about today. Uh, and are above and beyond the additional, the original thing. Then finally, uh, one other thing to quickly note here is that these pulls here, the, the the pulls on the pack on this one, are aftermarket. As a matter of fact, these are the ones that came on that pack. The uh, the, the, the the seventeen came with black zipper pulls, so do keep that in mind. I just made these myself using some paracord and some heat shrink tubing, and they work quite well. Um, and so there we go. Um, and then finally, <laughs> sorry, we're three minutes into it. And I haven't started with the good. It's it's in a whole affair here. This has taken a long time. This particular set of reviews has been forever. The reason for that are three things. A, I'm freaking busy. That's my fault, though. B, pandemics are a really awful time to review backpacks. I got this guy about six months before the pandemic, so it got a fair amount of carry, but this guy actually arrived to me like two weeks after the pandemic started or something like that. It was... Uh, the, the timing was not great, and I kept thinking, well, soon I'll be going back out again. I'll be able to spend some more time with... Mm, not here, no. Um, and so as a result, this guy ended up, uh, <laughs> took me a little longer to get around to these reviews, but I decided VanQuest, this is good enough that I can say what I need to without putting as much time into this big guy here, but do keep that in mind. So, finally, let's jump into the good, the great, the bad, and the ugly of these very interesting packs. So, on the good side, to start with, the construction on both of these is very durable. What we see here is that the whole thing is made out of a 10,000 decor Dura, which is very nice. And it has very strong, resilient materials here. And this guy, like I said, has about six months worth of carry in it. 
and looks really none the worse for the wear, which I, I appreciate very much. And the whole thing has been uh, done with some water resistance in the construction. Um, and you can see these little flaps. I'm not saying this is a waterproof pack. And in fact, you might want to bring a garbage bag in case if you're in a rainy area. But, um, they, you know, and I haven't tested it markedly given that I'm in San Diego and it's not really a rain. Anyways, I digress. So the construction on both of these guys feels very, very good and feels very, very solid. I would put it up against any number, even just like the stitching bag panels here. This looks good. This is well done. So I put this up against some of the greats in terms of construction. Next thing, the price on these guys is pretty solid. They're not cheap. Absolutely. 160 and 160 at the moment um, for this guy, uh, for the, either of these. And that's not cheap. But at the same time, given the construction, given the materials, given the thought, I don't really have a, a major objection to that. And I think this is one of those things where if you're using it literally every day, it's not a bad idea to spend some good money. So I, I, I feel like the price on these guys is not bad. Next thing, these have pockets. Pockets freaking everywhere. Um, I'm going to show you on the 13, but there are just as many pockets, if not more so, on the big guy here. But what we have here is a pocket here and a separate pocket here. And these are indeed separate pockets. And, you know, they're just a really good place to keep a little microfiber cloth, tank, that kind of thing, which is great. Um, we have the... Ah, up here, we have one fold-over style pocket with some actual pretty serious depth to it. We have another pocket here. We have a pen pocket, a pen pocket, a pen pocket. Um, in front of this zippered pocket, there is yet another pocket, which is separate and independent. And we have this pocket right over here, uh, which I'm keeping all of my various charges in, uh, which works pretty well, along with a USB power bank. Um, and then on the inside of this guy here... We have ourselves a little charger sort of affair, or not charger sort of affair. This is just my little uh, toolbox thing with like a leather min, etc. That all is in there. Uh, we have a uh, different pocket right next to it, which is good. We have this pocket right over here. We have this pocket right over here. And then in the back, we have a laptop pocket, which is suitably padded and is perfectly fit for a 13-inch MacBook Pro or any other comparably sized laptop. And then on the sides here, we also have a pair of drink pockets. And these guys are actually expandable, so you can tighten them up if you're not using them and then make them come out or uh, kind of open up a little bit so you can actually put a drink into them. That is a beautiful thing. Then, I know you're thinking, Nick, come on, there can't be more pockets, but there are. On the back here, we have sort of a stealthier pocket. If you put this down here, it doesn't really look like a whole lot, um, but in the back here, we have another padded pocket here. This is perfectly sized for a tablet, or in my case, a uh, grocery bag and a... Uh, 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 Oh, come on, pad of paper, that's the term, as well as some hand sanitizer spray. And then on the back here, we have one more small pocket that I am using for fast-acting lactase because I am tolerant of many things, but lactose is not among them. So um, this has all sorts of different pockets and really allows you a lot of freedom if you are looking for a pocketing experience. <laughs> if you are looking for a pocketing experience... Well, frankly, there were many things in the world that are going to be interesting to you. But um, anyways, there were a ton of freaking pockets in this guy, and uh, this did not come with it. This is just my sunglasses case, and I will go on ahead and put that back inside of there. So um, there you go. Lots of pockets. Next thing, this has good use of Velcro. What we see here is that not only are the internals here. I'll show you on this big guy here as I destroy everything. And off to the side. The all, like most of the interior of this pack is done with a Velcro compatible hook and loopy sort of thing. Not only does this allow the uh, dividers to work well, as you can see here, they just kind of attach to the bottom of this guy and can allow you to keep different things in different areas there. Um, but it also just, uh, they're using Velcro well here. So for instance, this Velcro patch interacts with this Velcro patch here. It actually gives a fair amount of stiction, enough that you can usually pick the bag up by the handle with just that Velcro holding it in place. And that's a, that's a great thing. It, it means that even if you don't end up buckling it completely, because in this area here, you can buckle it with actual buckles, in which case this is not coming open. 100%, um, but you can also just use the hook and loop fasteners, and that works fine too. So I think they've used the Velcro very well. It's worth noting there is also the Velcro on the back inside of this area here, which allows you to put some of those uh, accessory kind of things in there, which is good. And speaking of which, I do like the accessories. I think they're thoughtfully done, and I think they work very well to kind of expand the ability to, 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 to use the pack um, and give you a little bit more options in case you didn't have enough freaking pockets as it is. <laughs> Right, so that's a beautiful thing. And then uh, finally, on the good side, I like the choice of sizes here. The 13 inch is about perfect for my everyday life, given that I carry a 13 inch laptop on a regular basis. 
but it also has enough room for kind of the rest of the stuff, right? It has enough room for the, uh, for like power banks, for it's it's a nice size. It's not too bulky, and in fact, it works very well just kind of on the hip. If you throw this guy over your shoulder, this size actually is quite uh, tractable, right? It doesn't. It's a little heavy when you got it fully loaded down, but it works. Um, and then the 17 really gives you a lot of space, a lot, a lot of space. I mean, if I take some of the dividers out, there is a bunch of room in here, not just for the computer in the back, and that is great, actually. I think that works very well, and. <laughs> Yeah, that's solid. So I very much do appreciate the fact that you've got these two different sizes. One that is a little bit more compact for a kind of a commuter daily carry. So I was using this guy walking to work or taking a bus or something like that. Um, it made it a whole lot easier um, and was a good size. But this guy will have all the capacity you need if you are going to be more car-based or potentially if you're just carrying a lot more stuff. So I appreciate these two sizes, and to me, all of that is the good, is that it has a nice choice of sizes, a combination of hook-and-loop buckles, um, and buckles, that is, that work very well, good use of Velcro, pockets everywhere, a solid price um, for either of them, and durable construction. On the great side to me, th this is sort of amorphous, and it ends up being 10 other things, but this is exceptionally well thought out. This bag works amazingly well, and it's all in the details, right? So one of the details on this guy is this little piece right here. This is a stabilizing strap or whatever they, I think that's the term they've got for it, but basically it goes from one side of this thing to the other, such that as you put this guy, so you're gonna lift this and you're gonna put this over your shoulder, then what you do is you clip this thing around the front of you. Does it look a little geeky? Yeah. Am I a little geeky? Yeah, it kind of works out, although you could never look geeky in a I Am Nick Shabazz t-shirt, available at Shabazzar.com. Or maybe only, I forget which. Anyways, what this does for you, <laughs> hey, plug, um, just like I keep in the main pocket here. What this allows you to do is to clip this guy so that it doesn't do this kind of thing. It's not flopping against you all the time. And this actually makes a major difference when walking with one of these guys. Um, and especially if you're running, you know, this actually makes it like it sticks to your body. And as a result, uh, it just wears a lot better than any other pack I've tried. Um, and so just removing this stabilizing buckle, although it is removable, um, and also switchable in sides if you, uh, if you uh, think lefties might want to do that, um, it... Would you? Yeah, maybe. Um, either way, it, it's just a brilliant idea. It really, really works well, and I'm very happy about that. Um, the next thing on this guy that I very much appreciate is on that shoulder strap here. This is a little detail, but this slides very freely along the top of this. And what that allows you to do is if you've got this over your shoulder um, and you're wearing it, it allows you to very quickly pull this guy over while the pad remains in place on your shoulder comfortably and then access something and then quickly pull it back to its original position when you're done. This is a little detail, but it is a spectacular detail. It works really, really well. Um, I appreciate that sliding pad a lot, and it makes this shoulder strap a lot more comfortable as you are using this guy on a daily basis um, than it otherwise would have been. Next thing, little detail, but look at this little strap here. This is for a bike light. If you are a bicycle commuter, um, you can just put one of those little lights on there that just blink, 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 and it will be right there on your back. Little detail, but it's a nice thing. And this area right here, by the way, is all Molly compatible as is this here. And I mean Molly in the sense of the modular whatever loop system rather than, uh, I don't know, some chick named Molly. Different guy, kind of affair, right? Um, next thing, this has a slip on the back here. This whole area you can go through. And you might be thinking, Nick, what the heck would you use that for? This is for a rolling suitcase. If you have a suitcase that has a pull-up handle, you slip this uh, you slip this onto the suitcase with the handle in this space, and now it's firmly attached to your suitcase. Makes it easier. Uh, it's not going to fall off. You don't have to put it on your shoulder. That's a brilliant idea there. Uh, the double handle is great because it gives you just a little bit more, basically, gription here. It gives you a choice of things to grab, and it makes it real easy to come in here and just grab this guy out of the back of a car or something like that. Um, that works really well. The main access area, it just works absolutely spectacularly. And by the way, this zipper on the top here is not another pocket, but this is a quick access path. This opens into the main compartment here and makes it very, very easy if you're just like... Oh, crap, I need to grab that book out of there. Oh, where are my sunglasses? You just reach in, you grab them, and then you stick them back in there, and you didn't have to unbuckle everything, which is actually quite nice. It's not quite big enough to grab the laptop out of there, at least for a 13-inch laptop, um, but nonetheless, it is a very good little option there. Makes things nice. Um, next thing, I do like the little hidden uh, pocket in the back here. 
that is uh, just a nice detail and it makes it a little bit more secure and it's also by the way tablet sized if you're one of those folks who travels with both a laptop and a tablet <laughs> frankly if you're one of those folks who travels um but nonetheless it's a uh, this gives you a separate place for a tablet there which is uh, really really nice um and it has just a bunch of different soft pockets in there it's got a bunch of different areas i this feels and even like okay right here this little bit of velcro at the end of this strip allows you to make it so that the straps are perfectly sized but and th there is spare there if you need it but it's not flopping around they put these little velcro holders on all of the straps to allow you to size it properly this is a bag that is uh, like i always sing the praises of products that are designed with incredible care where it feels like somebody has spent a lot of time being nerdy about how this thing should function optimally and you know what they have done that here. This is amazingly well thought out. And I can tell that this was designed by somebody who is as nerdy about everyday carry bags as I am about, well, pretty much everything. Let's be real here. So I really, really appreciate how well thought out and how carefully done this bag is. It is really, really excellent. So to me, at least, that's what's great here is this is full of a thousand little details that prove just how good this is for everyday carry uh, and it, because somebody has really put that extra effort in and it shows. On the bad side, to start with, um, one thing that I will note is on the Spyderco ones, the branding is not subtle. Mind you, it's a branded bag. That's kind of the point of it, right? Um, but certainly, you know, having it on the outside here is for anybody who knows what the little bug is. Um, pretty obvious. And then on the inside, oh, yep, that's a little extra unsubtle. Um, in practice, once I finish this review, I may end up darkening this a little bit to make it a little bit more stealthy, if you will, for my daily life. But at the same time, it's not unattractive. That is something you just want to keep in mind there. Also, I got to say, these red pulls were a little bit much. I think they, this guy turned out to be a little bit Fifty Shades of Grey with the ba uh, the black ones on there. So I did swap these guys out for uh, for grins, frankly. Um, and the pulls work very well. It's worth noting that. Um, they, they, they are quite excellent in terms of just accessibility because you can just hook a finger on there. And boom. Um, so that is nice, but they were maybe a little bit on the much side there. Next thing, the Velcro on these guys does not come all the way up to the side. What we see here is the Velcro stops about here. This is fine, except in one very specific situation, and that is for this side pack bag. This is unable to stand up to the side on this particular bag because the top part here is not Velcro. And as a result, it kind of ends up flopping around a little bit more. I, or you put it on the bottom of the bag, or you put it against the back wall here, where the Velcro does go all the way up to the side. Not the end of the world, but it is kind of weird that the Velcro doesn't come all the way to the top when that is such a major feature of how these bags work. Next thing, I would not mind a lockable pull on the top of the, the zipper here. What I mean by that is that this can be opened and there's no way to stop it from being open. Whereas I believe, yeah, on this back, had, or, uh, this back thing here, what we see is these two little holes in a, a line. I hope you can see that. So these little holes here can align together and then you can clamp something through there, like a luggage lock or a zip tie or something like that to prevent this guy from being opened. As a result though, you end up with an easy access with just a zipper into the main compartment of your pack. Um, and from a pickpocketing perspective, that could be problematic if you are in an area where that's a thing because this is often gonna be worn on your back. So I would like to see the same kind of a locking style zipper used on this guy just to give you that option. Mind you, you could put a zip tie through here and here and you got the same thing. But the locking zippers are a really nice thing and it's a nice touch that they've done that here as well as on this one too. So you've got two more secure pockets. Not that a TSA luggage lock is secure by any stretch, but at the very least, yeah, that's a thing. Then finally, the Cobra strap. Um, this is the one accessory they sent me that I didn't like very much. And the reason for that is exactly what I talked about earlier. So this does have a nice shoulder strap. It's well padded and whatnot, and it does have the Cobra style buckle where if you pull this down, the buckle pulls apart. And you know what? That works really well. It's great for taking the bag on and off, but at the same time, what you lose is that sliding shoulder pad. And that sliding shoulder pad is probably the most compelling 
Well, I don't know if that's true, but it is a very compelling feature of these bags, and sacrificing it in the name of a quick remove, which is good, I mean, which is helpful, um, it just didn't strike me as useful. And so, you know, I tried it on the big guy uh, briefly, but you can see here, I never ended up taking the tag off because I never ended up quite loving it. That, that, that to me is not the accessory I would go for. It looks nice. It's definitely beefy, but I don't think that I would go there. So, um, that, to me at least, all of that is the bad here, is that the, uh, the, the Spydeco branding is not subtle, although, again, that's not expected to be. You want to keep in mind whether you want that or the regular one. Um, uh, not unattractive, but still, uh, it, the Velcro does not come all the way up the side, which is a little weird to me. I wouldn't mind a lockable pull up here on the top zippers. And the uh, Cobra strap, although it's a good idea in practice, removes one of the nicer features, namely that sliding strap pad um, that, that make these guys really, really nice. On the ugly front, um, according to my wife, yeah, these are not exactly fashion-forward bags. You know, some of the stuff that I've reviewed before on the channel very much is. You know, Frank Clegg briefcase, even nutsack bags make very, very attractive bags that really fit well in a variety of fashion contexts. But these guys... Let's put it this way. These are function forward, <laughs> right? Um, I very much love other uh, sorts of more traditional bag styles uh, when it comes to fashion, but these guys are just so functional that, uh, that in a lot of ways, this is a very natural co-branding with Spydeco. Spydeco is a company has made pocket knives for a long time that are sort of like, well, we want the knife to work well, and if it looks good too, that's a bonus, but that ain't the goal. And I feel like that's the same approach here. This is very much function first, and whether it ends up looking great is sort of not necessarily the priority, right? So I do wish that they had a version of this using more traditional materials, etc., like a nice waxed canvas or something like that, um, that would look a little bit more fashion forward while preserving the, you know, the really well thought out um, sort of thing. This ends up being a little tactical as well, although maybe not as bad as some, but nonetheless, um, in, from a fashion perspective, not necessarily going this route. But that said, that's very subjective, and that may be a perfectly, uh, maybe a non-issue for you. But on the ugly front, some people say these are ugly. On the final conclusion front, I can very easily say that these are the smartest bags I've ever owned. Not in the smart sense of like, oh, we put a USB port in it. Yeah. Probably not. Or, don't get me started. Um, but these are smart in the detail sense. You can tell that these bags were designed by somebody who thinks way too much about everyday carry bags, and the result is amazing. And I don't say that lightly. I don't say that in the sense of like, oh, this is a pretty good bag. No, these are really amazing because they have good build quality. They've got a good price, lots of pockets. Hook and loop fasteners used thoughtfully and throughout the thing got very nice sizes and just a wealth of little details at every turn that make you realize like, hmm, they did well here. Sure, the, the, the branding isn't necessarily subtle. They've got a couple of few uh, little details that could be fixed. The Cobra strap doesn't work so well, and these are not exactly fashion forward sorts of affairs, but these are great. These are really great. And in fact, the reason that this review finally happened was um, I was watching a video the other day. I am also a tech nerd, in case you haven't figured it out, uh, by Linus Tech Tips, a, a great channel. Um, but anyways, Linus talked about in his review of, I think, a Sonos soundbar. Um, this item didn't get reviewed for a long time because it's so good that I forgot to review it. And it was like, holy crap, that crystallizes it. Yes, this bag is so good that I've kind of forgotten to review it. Because it just, I, I had this guy as my daily pack for like six months, and it was just like, yeah, that's that's good, that's right, this is great. And it just became a, a solid companion for me. It's not super flashy, it's not super luxurious, it just does the damn job, and then you move on. It's great. Um, it just became kind of a part of my life, as well as, you know, some of the accessories with it too, like the little flashlight holder in there um, is very nice. 10,000 lumens! But nonetheless, um, it, it, it's just become a really beautiful part of my daily world, right? Um, and I think that makes sense, uh, just because it does the work. And so this is not just good, it's kind of a part of my life, and as a result, I highly recommend this bag, as well as whatever accessories make sense for you in your life, maybe accepting the Cobra strap that I'm not recommending as much, but these bags 
are just a shining freaking gem. Um, they are function forward, they're brilliantly designed, and they're not so bougie, they're not so expensive, um, that I can very easily see these being a great everyday carry bag for a lot of people, and frankly, I can see it being a perfect everyday carry bag for a lot of people. And if you are willing to put that function forward, then by God, I can see these guys being the end of your van quest. Anyways, hope this has been interesting to you. Uh, time for me to pack it in, and I hope that you have yourselves just an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. Bye now.